Britain's spy agency, GCHQ, has put together a controversial plan to deal with malware. Nicole, a massive national firewall that protects people from accessing malicious websites. GCHQ says that attacks have doubled last year when unsuspecting members of the public visit sites they trust. Instead, they stumble on clone pages which install malware into their computer. But civil liberties groups said that these methods are only used by authoritarian regimes. GCHQ, however, has clarified that the scheme is voluntary. Even so, the plans have been met rather sceptically online with Twitter users branding the project as sinister. services, Andrew Zanard on Trinity. Adrian, just explain, what would a national firewall actually do? Well, the devil is, of course, in the detail. I mean, it, it, GCHQ and people like National Crime Agency trying to actually tackle, tackle cyber criminals is, in principle, a good idea. But uh, trying to create some sort of national firewall is fraught with problems, problems, both technical and political. It's not, it's not a simple matter. But we want this, don't we? I mean, we are being duped, we're being tricked by criminals, even rogue states. Terrorists could be setting up these websites and then all sorts of consequences, not just for our personal security, but for the country. Uh, yes, yes, I mean, it's, it's another good cause. Um, the, the technical problems are that it's, it's a game of whack-a-mole. Unfortunately, uh, no matter how good you are, the, the criminals can, can set up new websites and new IP addresses within seconds. And having, having a system that can actually track that and, and firewall for, all for every ISP in the UK would be hugely technically complicated. Okay, so it's technically ambitious then, is it? Is it, but it, is it's it ambitious, but is it impossible or is it actually possible to do? Well, well yeah, it's tricky to say whether it's impossible or possible. One of the things they've suggested is a thing called DNS filtering, and DNS is like, like the, the, the phone book of the internet, and it's a very vulnerable part of the internet, internet. It's something that criminals do attack. And there's a lot of work in the industry to make that, make that more secure, to make sure someone in the middle can't tamper with it. Unfortunately, any sort of DNS filtering that GCHQ might be suggesting is exactly the sort of tampering that we want to stop, because criminals do, criminals do that as well. So it's a, it's a very difficult thing to do uh, without, without compromising the very security of the system we all rely on. What about the issue of censorship as well? I mean, what sort of website would GCHQ consider to be malicious? Well, I have no idea, but there's a long history of the government trying, trying to build a complete censorship, censorship system. It started with innocent, innocent and, and well-intentioned things like child uh, abuse and uh, porn, porn sites and uh, extreme porn sites and extremist websites and, and now uh, malicious websites. And it seems to be a system to get a, a, a centralised censorship into all the UK internet. Now, it could be paranoid to say this, but... A lot of our customers come to us, come to us because we have completely unfiltered internet. Because they're worried that we're trusting every, every possible future government never to find some way to, ex, to exploit such an incredible power to just censor what they like. Yeah, but to and counter all of that, we need it. Adrian, but to counter all of that, they're saying this is voluntary. You don't have to opt into well, this file. They always protection. start with saying that. Uh, even with the, the, even with the um, child abuse image stuff, it was all voluntary. And then they said they wanted 100%, 100% coverage of every website, every, every ISP to... To, 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 implement, to implement this, um, as long as there are ISPs like, like us, like Andrews and Arnold, who can provide completely clear and free, free and uncensored internet, then we have something that we can, that we can rely on. So you're actually um, concerned this could affect your business then? Okay. Yeah, so I mean, our, our customers obviously take their choices on how they find all things and how they, how they manage things, and we help them do that, but it's their choice, it's not us being a nanny zanny state. We're just there to shift packets and make things work with no, no censorship and no filtering. That's a key thing about our business. Adrian, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us live. Adrian, Thank you Kevin. very much. As the race for the White House heats up, Barack 